Ingenuity recently performed a test flight in view of perseverance from the closest distance yet observed. The color video taken at maximum zoom provides the best look yet at what it's like to fly a helicopter on Mars on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance arrived in early August at the location that Ingenuity was supposed to scout out ahead of time, but didn't because of an emergency landing, which I described in the previous episode. From here, it could look back and see Ingenuity about 55 meters away. The view with Mass Cam Z captured Ingenuity in a majestic Martian landscape. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Those distant hills and mountains provide a nice backdrop thanks to a relatively clear sky. The hills are part of a prominent cluster at the edge of Jezero Crater, with the mountainous crater rim about 15 kilometers away from Perseverance. But that's certainly not the view that Ingenuity would see from the 5 meter altitude of its pop-up flight. Here's the view with the 110 millimeter focal length zoom of Mass Cam Z, showing the wiggle test of the rotors during a pre-flight check. This is all happening autonomously, so its onboard software is looking for any anomalies that might cause it to scrub the flight. Here's what it looked like just after Ingenuity was first deployed. 27 seconds after the wiggle test, Ingenuity spins up its blades to about 2500 RPM, creating a blur that looks like they're stopped until it changes their pitch, creating instant lift and a flash of its solar panel during a slightly wobbly climb. The 48 millimeter focal length view from the right camera on Mass Cam Z captured the full flight, including a 90 degree twist that probably helped exercise Ingenuity's downward looking navigation camera, which got out of sync with the sensors during the previous flight. Ingenuity landed with a little bounce, typical of the hard landings it makes because of what's referred to as a passive gravity drop from a height of 30 centimeters. This is used to minimize ground control interactions that could destabilize it during landing. Supercam got a great shot a few saws later, capturing the aftermath of what was a successful flight. It also shows a small rock underneath Ingenuity that can be seen in the view from its nav cam. It's not visible in the view from Ingenuity's color camera, which is pointed about 22 degrees below the horizon, but it did catch Perseverance right at the edge of the frame. The last few images of the landing captured with the nav cam have been downlinked, along with a set of images showing the spin down of the rotors at approximately true speed, including the final oscillations as they come to a full stop. Thanks to the success of this test flight, Ingenuity moved on to Flight 55. There was no preview blog post, which has been the norm, but the flight log has been updated, showing a flight lasting 143 seconds, covering 264 meters, and showing that all appears well with Ingenuity. Perseverance has moved on as well after collecting a sample from the spot with the greenish crystals that I presented in the previous episode. It's now driven about 180 meters to the south, arriving near a location that Ingenuity has already scoped out with its color camera on the ground. Thanks to its version of maximum zoom, we already know that there are intriguing rocks there. <laughs> 